The evidence seems to echo that verse. Now, journey with me to Australia, where Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, rises out of the desert like a solitary giant. This sandstone monolith is over 1,000 feet high and nearly six miles around, with steep, smooth sides that seem to defy erosion. Scientists say it's composed of Arco's sandstone, unusually high in feldspar, which normally weathers quickly. Yet here it stands, almost pristine. How could a rock made of easily erodible material remain intact for supposed hundreds of millions of years? Some geologists suggest Uluru formed from rapid deposition and uplift, consistent with catastrophic flooding. Psalm 104 verse 8 says, The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place that you appointed for them. Could Uluru be one of those monuments of upheaval? Cross over to Europe, and the cliffs of Dover tell another story. Towering chalk walls, composed almost entirely of microscopic marine organisms, stretch for miles along the English coast. Traditional models say these creatures slowly accumulated over millions of years in calm seas. But when we look closer, the layers are unbroken, uniform, and immense, better explained by rapid large-scale deposition. Billions of organisms must have died and settled almost instantly, entombed in layers of chalk. The flood account in Genesis describes waters teeming with life, then destruction on a global scale, 